My uncle made this. What's up, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, and y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Texas Man, taking in the game music mode. Man, I'm looking all busted and disgusted, man. I had to come home on lunchtime, grab my sneakers, man, grab my package off the front porch, man. The Ups boys be tripping around here, man. Ups is UPS. That's what I call them, Ups, man. They tripping, bro. They be putting my packages on the middle of my porch in broad daylight, bro. I got that notey while I was at work, man. Bro, I had to take a lunch, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm off now, but still, though, man, I am not leaving one of my grills, especially... Let alone any of my pairs, or general release, any of that stuff, sitting on the porch since 11 o'clock in the morning, bro. So, uh, for free takings, McGakins, man, for somebody that want to take it, just come by and get it, because it's just sitting on the porch. I filled out my UPS form thing for them to specifically put my package on the side of the porch, not on the front of the porch. And they still put it right on the front, standing straight up. But today, man, today. Day. I forgot to tell y'all, man. I hope y'all had a, having a great week. Usually I do my videos on the weekend, but this is during the Monday fun day. I got my scissors on deck. But today, man, is going down like a plane crash, man. Your boy got one of his grills, man. I know a lot of y'all, not a lot of y'all, some of y'all probably already had this kick. But to me, this is a grill, man. I, I just never, I don't know what I was doing when this sneaker came out. But I just didn't get it, whatever the whatever the reason was, man. I might have I might have I might have been taking a hiatus, a, a little break from the game, then too. You know what I'm saying? But this is gonna be a quick video, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, like my stuff, and don't forget to subscribe, man. And oh yeah, press the notification bell. All I'm gonna tell y'all for a hint is this is my favorite silhouette. If you watch my channel or you're OG subscriber, you should already know what's going down in the O. The O is the 2 and 0 for all y'all who don't know. San Antonio, baby. It's like a disease. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I picked this up off of Stock X. Let me get the skizzers going. These are some sharp skizzers, baby. I'm like Harlem Knights, man. Don't make me cut you. Oh, you want to hit people with garbage cans. Now I got to cut you. My this. I picked these up off stock eggs, man. I snuck in that thing like dark wing duck, man. Got in there and got out of there, man. I ain't got time for all that bidding back and forth and all that stuff, man. I'm gonna make a regional bid what I think I'm supposed to. Or what somebody who's respectable. Man, bro. I just can't wait, bro. Box is upside down, so I don't want y'all to see my Addy. Box better not be damaged, bro. Bro. Top sliding off. Like a stripper at the club. 1985 box, baby. You already know what time it is, man. Oh, man, I can't wait, bro. I got a size 13. Y'all know I like the finesse is what I call it. I'm a size 12 normal. But in this silhouette, I could go with size 13 because I got a wide foot, bro. But since I can choose either one, whatever I can get the best price on is what I'm going with. You feel me? Colorway out of Grail City, baby. This is a black, varsity red, and white. For all y'all who happen to give a damn. StockX, y'all don't need to see it. Some of y'all probably put that in slow mo so y'all can see what the card said. But bro, I can already see the top, man. Woo wee! <laughs> yes, sir! Oh man, bro, I had to have them. Dang, bro. The 2016 Bread Ones, bro. I had to have them, bro. Oh man, get that smell out. Let me see. It ain't got that smell though, man. You know that smell we used to. Us drunk one folks is definitely used to. 
It ain't got that smell. It still smells brand new, but it ain't got that smell that it always has. Uh, just like my Royals that I got, these things are already glittering. I am not even tripping on that, man, because I already know, man. Like, you can wipe them off and it goes away and it's cool. But I originally thought it was the paper that made the, the sneakers glitter. But it's not, man, because I got kicks that are straight drop front boxes with no paper. And, um, like my bread toast, and they started glittering already. Grail City, bro, I had to have these, bro. Y'all know blue is my favorite color, but, man, when it comes to ones, bro, like, this sneaker right here, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I will buy every, I will buy every freaking release of this sneaker, bro. Like, I know that sounds crazy to all y'all, but I love one so much. And especially this colorway, man. And this is my first time having it. I could have had it in 2002, if I remember right, back in the day, man. But I just didn't want to pay that money. Back in the day, I wasn't about paying all that money for no kicks, man. I'm like, nah, bro, I get it on sale. But little of that, I didn't know that it was that limited of a shoe back then. You know, I knew it was popular, but I didn't know it was. Because, you know, the internet is not what it is today, man. Like, if you had internet in 2002, bro, you was, you was doing it, bro. Like, real tough. And I'm gonna under DS quick, bro. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna under DS quick, bro. Like, no longer than probably two weeks, man. Probably not even a week, man. Like, cause I've been wanting these. And I'm a collector, but I wear my kicks, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know I got some pairs behind me that y'all see that I have never worn. Wait for the, the right time, the right moment. But, bro, I had to have them. You know, even though I got these from StockX, man, I still gotta do my checks, man, because. I'm not getting caught with no foo-foos, man. You know what I'm saying? See, you got that bow-legged stance. That's the first thing I check for right there. Especially if the kick's not even laced, because better not be his desktop. Check your pattern right here. Your spacing with the holes. That's already legit right there. Everybody says the stitch right here is the way. It's not the way, because certain pairs that are old, the stitching might be right on it. I have a lot of ones, so I'm telling you right now, whoever told y'all that is not true. Um, your wings logo. Always gotta check your wings logo. You gotta make sure it's in the right, pointing at the right thing, which is pointing up to the top, a uh, hole, and your spacing's gotta be correct. There's a lot of things to look for on J's. And a lot of times on your all leather pairs, OG highs, the leather needs to be double stitched. That's not on every pair, that's just a lot of pairs. Need to be double stitched right there. And then you can even check the bottom. Um, this little square, right? This little triangle right here on the bottom on the fufu pairs. Everything's a lot fatter down here. The circle's a little off. The the Nike, I think if I remember right, the Nike don't even touch on the fufu pairs. Like there's like a space, and it doesn't have the rights reserved. There's a lot of different things you gotta look for. But hey, I know these are a one, and I ain't tripping about the glitter, man. I finally got them in my collection, man. I'm just ah, uh, man, I just. I'm almost like can't believe it, bro. Like, yeah, got my double up laces, and man, I don't, I don't even know what um, you see, I don't even know what this number is in here. I don't even know what that number means. I know it's a size 13. I don't know what that number means. If you know what that number means, write down in the comments below. See, your boy got got a pair of ones or something about them. He didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? And I love ones, but I don't know nothing about those because I didn't get these when they first came out. I know there's a little story or something about the number. Maybe it's a. Uh, Maybe they're numbered. I don't know. I don't think they were. I know I seen how much the homes are numbered, and I, I ain't, they didn't look like that. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But hey, I don't make this video too long. I don't want to mumble and jumble and hit y'all with all that. If you got the breads, any any release, if you got the breads in your collection, man, let me know what you think about them, man. Are they harder than the Royals? I don't know. Both the Royals and their breads are in my are in my top five. And this is one of my grills knocked out, man. And I'm gonna be honestly with y'all, man. Um, the 1985 bread is supposed to release, re release this year, 2019. It's supposed to be extra high like they were back then. And I had this feeling, because everybody said they were gonna come out on Black Friday, but I got this weird feeling they're gonna be ultra limited, man. And that made me start thinking even more like, man, I better get some breads now before it just gets ridiculous, bro. Like, because if them things are limited, Everybody's gonna go, in my opinion. If they can't get those, they're gonna they're gonna pay resale on those, or they're gonna try to get the 16s just so they can have a pair of breads if they don't already have one. Of course, I'm gonna try to get those too because I'm all about the ones, bro. And um, a long story short, I'm not gonna be copping as much as I normally do in a normal time because I'm slowing down for a little bit because 
There's been a lot of stuff coming out, but I'm not liking a lot of the kicks, man. I'm getting real, real picky, man. So maybe I might start going back just getting grills, man. I don't got too many grills, but maybe I'll start knocking them down one by one, man. You know what I'm saying? Or trimming up my collection, just having what I really want and what I really wear, though, man. But, hey, I want to thank y'all for watching this video, man. Don't forget to write down in the comments, man. Holla at your boy. Don't forget to like if you will. Subscribe if you trill. Till next time, we're about this thing.